Okay. This is probably like my fourth time to try to make this video, but this video will be about making spray for your bows. Um, ribbon spray is the spiking material that's mixed in. It can be mixed in a number of different ways with your hair bows. Um, like for instance, this one is two of your regular basic bows, then this spray, then I have these loops and another basic bow on top with a little decal in the center. That was for St. Patrick's Day. Um, this is an Easter one. Um, the spray is only in the back. I did add a couple of pieces um, underneath the loopy bow in the center. This one is a surround a bow also with the spray in the back and then there are a few pieces sticking out from behind the basic bows in the center. Uh, this one that I'm making now is two basic bows. I've already pre-made. This is a large one. And this is a smaller one. Um, I made one a little bit bigger so you could see behind it and we're going to put the spray in between. I have already pre-made um, the spray mostly because I've been trying to make this video quite a few times and the kids and things keep interrupting. Um, to make the spray you're going to want to get some ribbon I've already trimmed them so that you guys could see it'll move along a little quicker. I took the smaller bow and I measured pieces that were just slightly larger than the smaller bow is and then I did two to three pieces of each ribbon that I chose. You want to get coordinating colors or um, colors that would go good together and just cut a whole bunch of pieces the same length as one another and then once you've gotten them all together you stack two to three pieces at a time on top of each other and you fold it in half like you would the bow tails on the bows and then you will trim the pieces so that they have the pointy tails this makes it go a lot quicker when you stack them because if you do them individually it takes much longer to do them one at a time uh, so we'll trim that one too oh, I didn't do it quite as sharp as I should have um, now that you have those trimmed, you would, I have on this one, larger in the back, smaller in the front, obviously, because the larger would block the smaller pieces. Um, I just stack them up so that they are kind of spread out different styles, different colors to go with the bow, the thing that you're okay. making, had another kid interruption. So, um, to pick up where I left off at, it'll go with, you'll pick them different colors to go with the theme that you're making. This one in particular is Easter. You can see I have these little pieces that um, have purple and pink and green and yellow and blue and all those bright colors. Um, what I've already done is I've glued that spray that I made on top of the big purple bow. I put a lot of glue pretty wide across the basic bow that I glued it on top of. And as you can see, you can see the bow a little bit from in front, just a little on either side. And now what I'll do is I'm going to glue the little blue bow on top of that. So really it's just very basic, easy things that once they're all stacked on top of each other, it's really cute and it looks a lot more complicated than it is. It's a lot easier than you would think. So now that I've glued the little blue bow on top, you can see the sprays stick out around the bow and add a little bit of color and character. And now I just need to, you could tie a knot here first. I've left mine undone because I'm going to add um, a decal or rhinestones, probably, I think I'm going to do rhinestones, so I'll go ahead and pull some of those out and add those in the center really quick. Or I do have um, a really cute for Easter, so I can use them up, Easter decal for a little silver cross because it's a Christian holiday. Now what I'll do is add a little glue in the center there. I need to add another glue stick things are coming out a little slower. Then I'll place the cross in the center. 
and allow it to start drying. And now this, after this dries, you'll take the lighter that you have, whatever kind of lighter, or if you choose to purchase the um, ribbon sealer stuff at Hobby Lobby or whatever, um, and you'll go along the edges all the way around your bow of all the little pieces, and you will glue on the back. You'll attach a type of clip for this size. I would definitely recommend doing a French barrette, like so. That one's missing its little centerpiece. It's in the basket, probably. But um, I would definitely recommend doing that and mounting it because it's a little bit heavier, and those tend to hold the bow into your little girl's hair way better uh, than the little alligator clips, which don't have a lot of um, strength to them. Next um, video, I will show you guys how to do the loops. So keep an eye out for this.